Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to extract the square root. Now, extracting the square root really depends on the number that's on the inside of a square root, because if it's a perfect square, then it's easy. If it's not a perfect square, it may require some work. So here are a few illustrations to kind of show you what we mean by it. Now, let's suppose you have the square root of 16. Now, 16 is actually thought of as a, a perfect square because 16 is 4 times 4. That is why the square root of 16 is just the number 4. It's extracted pretty easily. Anytime you have a number that's a perfect square underneath a square root, the square root goes away and you just have the number itself. Now, if you have a square root of, let's just say, 50, you know it's not a perfect square, but what you can do is you can think about two numbers multiplied to give you 50, one of which is a perfect square. Now, what you want to think about is when it comes to breaking these numbers down, you want to think of the number that is the largest perfect square possible. So, for example, if you think about 50, two numbers that might come to mind would be 25 and 2. Now, there's a rule in algebra that says you can break it up into two separate square roots. This would be square root of 25 times square root of 2. Now, why is 25 so important? Well, 25 is actually a perfect square. So square root of 25 is actually 5, and square root of 2, because 2 is not a perfect square, and 2 is about as good as it gets, 5 square root of 2 is the square root of 50. Now, if you have a square root such as square root of 21, 21 is not a perfect square, but unfortunately, square, 21, two numbers that multiply to give you 21 are 3 and 7. Neither 3 and 7 are perfect squares. So unfortunately, numbers such as these are about as good as it gets, and they're not reducible, and they're not extractable either. So square root of 21 is just square root of 21. So depending on the number, you can extract the square root if possible. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief tutorial on how to extract square roots.